Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and today I'm making meatloaf. But I'm lazy. Okay, I'm not lazy, but I'm going to make a one pot meatloaf supper. Now, the way this is going to work is I'm going to have some corn on the cob going in the oven, but preheat your oven at 350 degrees. I just peeled and broke in half three carrots and I put them on the back of the wood stove this morning just to par cook because this is meatloaf and it's only going to take 45 minutes to cook and we want to make sure the carrots are cooked. Um, a jar of home canned potatoes and here we have I'm going to say half a pound of, or three quarters of a pound of ground beef, one small onion minced, three pieces of bread, uh, stale bread, chopped. Now, hint for people who are making your money stretch. The more bread you put in, the more egg you need. So for every three slices of bread you use in your meatloaf, Add another egg and another onion. So there's my one egg. I have a quarter cup of my dehydrated vegetables. I'm going to grind those in the coffee grinder. That is optional. The ketchup, also optional. Minced garlic, also optional. Salt and pepper, pretty sure you're going to want that. Okay. Now I'm wearing gloves, not because my hands aren't clean, but because I have some wood stove burns on my hands and I really don't want to get ketchup in them. Okay, so here is our hamburger. Our oops, let's move you back a little bit here. Here's our hamburger, our onion, our bread, and our egg. Now I'm going to take my dehydrated veggies. The dehydrated vegetables, you want to grind them, okay? Because they will add flavor but you don't want little woody bits in there because they won't rehydrate as well as they would if they were in water. So what you do is you grind them and then they become a flavor. It's in here. Um, you don't have to follow my recipe, my recipe for meatloaf, folks. Use your own meatloaf recipe. Oh, that smells like vegetable soup. Use your own meatloaf recipe. This is one of mine, okay? My meatloaf, anyone will tell you my meatloaf is never the same twice. Okay. Give it a little of ketchup, some salt, and pepper. Well, okay, let's start with... Oh, I better... There's some pretty big flakes of pepper. And some salt. A bit of garlic powder. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, let's try this little pinch of Italian seasoning. That might have been more of a pinch. Couldn't feel it just as well. All right, now let's mix. Ooh, my meat is still frozen in the center. It's not that hard frozen. Now you can use breadcrumbs again if you, like I said, you make your meatloaf recipe. If you can use, if you want to use breadcrumbs, you go right ahead. Howie actually likes to see bits of bread and onion in his meatloaf. All right, that's well mixed. And it's pretty, too. It's lovely just to look at. All right. It's our casserole dish. Now we are going to shape our meatloaf almost into a fat squat tower. Why? Well, because you want it um, it's going to be in the oven a while, and you want it to cook evenly with the vegetables, and you want room for the vegetables around your meatloaf. I'm going to press an onion right in there for Papa. I'm going to start um, dropping in our parboiled carrots and our canned potatoes. Now, if you don't have canned potatoes, Go ahead and parboil some potatoes. I know this is a one pot wonder, but I mean, I really didn't cook these carrots because they were uh, 
on the back of the wood stove is all. Isn't that pretty? Okay. I'm just going to take the pot that I uh, poached my carrots in on the back of the wood stove and I'm going to turn it on high. And I'm going to put in just about a good knob or two tablespoons of butter and a good teaspoon of minced garlic. What we want to do is we just kind of want to almost burn the butter, cook that garlic a little bit, sweeten it up. We don't want to burn the butter, we just want to permeate it with all that minced garlic. Mm. And once you can smell it, then you know you're going to taste it in the butter. We're going to take this garlic butter and we're just going to drizzle it all over the veggies and then drop, scrape it the last bit of the minced garlic with a spatula right over top. Oh, you know what? It's not even cooked yet and it smells good. Okay, no salt because we just put butter all over this, but a nice fine peppering for Papa. So I'm just going to cover it with this, well, lid that's not big, that's too big. And this is this and two cobs of frozen corn are going in the oven at 350 degrees for 45 to 50 minutes. Okay. Supper. I took the, the lid off for the last five minutes to brown that up. Supper's coming out just as dessert is going in. This is just a light, a small butter cake with blueberry, frozen blueberries scattered on top. We'll see you at the dinner table. I can see you took me seriously when I said help yourself. Absolutely. Enjoy. How was your day? Awesome. This is our Sunday style one pot wonder meat, one pot wonder meatloaf dinner. Thanks, honey. This, yeah, don't look at my hair. This is the Miss Wolfie from our half acre homestead saying, yeah, it's meatloaf again, but it doesn't mean it has to be the same every time, right? You can dress it all up. Take care. God bless.